Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Pareto chart as part of the Visuals with Nax series. What is Pareto chart? It is to implement 80-20 rule. What is 80-20 rule? 80% of your business value being created using 20% of your products or services or customer. So this chart helps us to identify who are those customers or products or services that contributes to 80% of your business. This is as simple as that. And I also mentioned at the bottom two charts to make you comparison. People usually make top five products, top 10 customers in a bar chart or whatever format, right? Instead of this, if you start making a Pareto chart, that will give more insights. This is what I mentioned as part of this video. With this note, let's begin this video. This channel contains a free content that covers Power BI, MSBI, Fundamentals of Azure and Data Factory and SQL as well. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. I am in Power BI now. So usually how we will create this chart? If you see here at the visualization you have uh, two uh, columns that is unit type and you have uh, another measure created these are the two items you put and then in the unit subtype you create the top five um, as the filter and use the contract value here so this is nothing wrong with that you always identify top five this is one kind of identifying your um, um, what you call um, <coughs> 80 percentage of your um, uh, business but whether it contributed 80 percent that is a real question so we need to check here what has contributed 80 percent right now we might have think all this contributed to 80 percent without having that percentage value so i need to show you here a measure that helps us to get this uh, chart beautifully before that measure let's try to understand uh, this particular uh, chart so this is the uh, line and clustered column chart where you have the same kind of uh, columns here that is unit subtype and contract actual value is a measure in your um, column axis and this is the Pareto percentage even this contains a uh, top five uh, I mentioned to make it uh, very sh uh, shorter otherwise you have a uh, lot more members that is creating confusion that's why I restricted to top five um item type or unit type so now let's try to understand this is uh, what you call the, the column chart is very simple that everyone can create now the key part lies in two uh, things here one is creating this line chart with the percentage and creating this uh, format meaning like a coloring format how to do that so basically let's start with the first one creating this line so this is the formula for uh, your, um, I mean, DAX measure for writing your line, meaning like what it does. Without looking at this code, uh, let's try to understand how to calculate it. Basically, you need to find total value for the selected measure, right? I mean, it can be like if you filter this one, it should dynamically change. It, if you filter any other dimension, this should dynamically change, right? So whatever you have selected, you should get the total value. Then each time you need to do the cumulative value over here, right? Meaning like the cumulative value over here is for this, it will be the same value. And then for this two bedroom, it should be one bedroom and two bedroom. You should cumulate you and then divide the by the total this is the whole logic the same thing it has been implemented in the measure basically you will get the uh, all selected uh, for that unit type whatever columns you use that only it will work in this particular measure so then you calculate the value for each um, selected type right this is what this will be there then you will calculate the cumulative value against each item from one bed from for the office it will be one bedroom two bedroom office so this cumulative value divided by the total okay that gives you the result 
So I will paste this formula uh, DAX measure in my video. You can take this one. So using that when I use this um, line chart here that will get you this um, what do you call the Pareto percentage or Pareto chart. So this is how you can able to dynamically create your Pareto chart. Now coming to this coloring format where you will do. So you go to the formatting and go to the lines or not the lines the columns because columns you need to do the formula here you need to provide the percentage it's 0 to 80 you give blue and greater than 80 it should be gray so once you and ensure that you use the rule as Pareto percentage contract in and remember it's a rule so that's it so once you do that you can able to achieve your results and it looks more meaningful to me compared to this top five chart what do you think about this chart just comment below and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and do remember that data is your asset